Be honest with me. How many of you have ever trapped a villager in a 1x2 hole and forced him to trade with you? Hey, I see you, kid. Yeah, the one about to write in the comments, I've never trapped a villager in a 1x2 hole. It was a 2x2 two two hole. Oh yeah, you're so smart. I said be honest with me now. Get with the program, child. Well, in this world, that was abolished. Making it illegal to, you know, uh, <coughs> enslave villagers. And causing a web of deceit leading to a civil war splitting society in half. How did it all come to this? Well, you see, I'm glad you asked. One player thought that it was a good idea to form a proper government. You know, one that would let anyone vote for any candidate. Oh no, uh, okay, I've, I've got a bad feeling about this. If you vote for me, I will make you wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. He can't possibly think that people would actually fall for something like that, can he? It's politics 101. Ridiculous. They did. They, they did. Every single villager, along with almost half of the player base, voted for him in a landslide victory. And what was the first law that he passed? You guessed it. Free commerce. <laughs> no, but the second law- Free healthcare. I mean, the abolishment of slavery, whatever. Same thing. Personally, I didn't really care either way. I know I should, but something about it just made me feel indifferent towards either side. On one hand, exploiting villagers is very useful. <laughs> hey, yo, that's what I like to see. Endless profits. <laughs> On the other hand, the villagers should have a say too, right? I don't know. It doesn't really affect me too much. I already have the gear I want, and I could care less about this kind of drama. And so I stayed neutral. As both sides heated up to the point of or I was busy building my peaceful log cabin. Ooh -hoo -hoo! This is looking nice, very nice. You know, I'm proud of this. Sometimes it's just good to take things slow and enjoy the journey. Well, my happiness didn't last long because that night, something happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the? Dude, dude, my house, bro. Oh my, how did this happen? All that hard work, oh my goodness. Just to have it taken away like this? Even my horses are dead. A couple minutes later, a player came up to me and inspected the damage. He told me that he had seen a villager sneaking around my base earlier that day. You know, it's entirely possible that it had planted explosives to get back at me for refusing to help them in the war efforts. More than possible. It was likely. I guess I have no choice. I have to get involved after what they did. So I joined the players. And it was really fun. Well, you're dead. Ooh, 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 got him. Hey, bro, these villagers suck at fighting. Like, look at this. I can literally take three on one. Just two. Easy, man. Oh, get back here. Get back here. Just two. Easy. Wait, don't kill me. I know who really blew up your house. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Talk. I believe that you think that it was one of us villagers who blew up your house, but it wasn't. Another player by the name of Roderick really did. Player? Why would Roderick- I can prove it to you. They've created a gunpowder farm hidden from view and have enough TNT to blow up an entire city. I took him in for more questioning and confronted the player named Roderick. Hey, this villager says that you were the one who blew up my house. What? Yeah. And it makes sense. What better way to get me on your side than framing them and blowing up my house, forcing me to retaliate and join your side? He's lying. Think about it. If they were to get you on their side, they would stand a chance against us. More players would follow and train them to become seasoned warriors. They outnumber us 10 to 1 after all. So if they learned combat, oh, it'd be over and we'd lose. He said that you have a gunpowder farm hidden somewhere. Gunpowder farm? We do not have one of those. Otherwise, the war would already be over. There. Right there. One of them is lying. Both of them have arguments that make complete sense. But who's telling the truth? The villager or Roderick? I guess the only way to find out is to locate this gunpowder farm. So I scoured the earth, climbed over every mountain, hiked through every valley, swam through every river, and found that it was literally right next to their base for everyone to see. Yeah, right there. Literally in the open. The whole time. Wow. He actually lied to me. Roderick messed with the wrong player. I took every scrap of gunpowder I could find, blew up the farm, and made my way 
to the village. Well, uh, this is a turn of events. What's up, guys? <laughs> I guess I'm on your side now. <laughs> what? I didn't expect this. They cheered and welcomed me as one of their own. More than I can say about my own players. Maybe this wasn't so bad after all. Hey, even the new anointed king welcomed me. Look at that. He even invited me to a top secret ward meeting and things weren't looking good. Whoa, you're in trouble. The players literally have you surrounded on all four sides. We know. This is why we are so excited to have you here. You alone can save us from destruction. Now will you help us? <sighs> The players lied to me and destroyed my house. It's about time I get some payback. Yes, I will help you. With that, the villagers became nearly unstoppable, overwhelming anything the players threw at them. Now it was just a matter of time before this madness would be over and peace restored. But just when it was almost over, something interesting happened. A note? It just says, not to be trusted, disguise yourself. And what are these coordinates? Uh, Mr. YouTube guy, my mom says uh, don't accept strange notes from strangers. I know, I know. Uh, shut up. I couldn't help myself, okay? I was curious. Now stop interrupting. I have a story to finish. This should be it. Oh, um. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, mm hmm. Okay, that was about the weirdest thing I've done all day. Let's see what's behind this door. What have I done? Hey, I need to talk to you right now. It's okay. Let him speak. I know what you're hiding. <laughs> what am I hiding? Don't act all innocent with me, your highness. You have been torturing all the players you've captured in a prison underground. This is gonna <laughs> stop right now. Is it? Kill him. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. Come with me. We escaped to the village and met in the player's headquarters. I never thought things would get this out of hand. They have been torturing and imprisoning all of the players they've captured. Disgusting. I know, I slipped you the note. Shadow, we are all that's left. A small resistance fighting overwhelming odds. We need your help to save these people and end this war. Will you help us? That's the second time someone's asked me that. To save the lives of the players, I will help you. Great. Are you ready? Ready for what? Things are about to get interesting. This is the easiest fight I've ever had, I think. Yeah, I think this is the easiest fight. Let's become one. One with the power to save them all. Death. Steve. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, yo, is that Daddy, Daddy Steve? Steve? Hey, Steve, is that you? Howdy, party. How y'all doing? I really don't care. Well, best be off. I have pork salsa baton in the crock pot. See you later. That was awesome. Silly me. I took a wrong turn. After Daddy Steve <laughs> decimated the villagers. Sorry. We, we set the players free. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody out. Get out of here. It's time to win a war. What? What is that? It's the players, sir! They have taken over the city! You- you didn't hear them? No! I was counting the sparklies on- mm, Never mind that. I'm leaving this place. Press the button. The button? What button? You know which one. Oh, that button. And you are officially captured! Where did he go? A timer. What is that for? 
He's gonna blow up the city. I wasn't expecting that. You go. You stop the bomb. I'm going after the king. Hey, shut this down now. You're too late. <laughs> the bomb is already set and can only be shut down using a specific security code that only the king and I share. Your situation is hopeless. You lost. Seriously? One, two, three, four? That's your password? I thought my passwords were bad. That this one was terrible. The worst password I have ever seen. Oh boy, this is inconceivable. Whoa, what is this? Is this a road? For what? If I can't win, then I'll have the satisfaction of killing you myself. <laughs> Seriously? The king and the rest of his goons were captured and tried for their crimes, but the conflict wasn't over. What is it gonna take for peace? You know, maybe the players are right. Exploiting the broken nature of villager trading at the expense of other people. Or maybe the villagers are right. Abolishing slavery, but enacting revenge to a whole new degree of violence. Or maybe the world would be better off if neither existed at all. Go on, watch another video. I really need your support, please. Okay, goodbye.